Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Real Talk and uh, I want to come at you with a new video today. <laughs> Seems like I have uh, some excess time on my hands these days. So I'm uploading uh, quite a few of these videos. In this video, I, wanna, I want us to take a look at uh, some of the stuff that most of us don't really want to look at because it kind of pains us. So I guess the, the saying out of sight, out of mind comes to play. And we're going to look at uh, the homeless, some of the homeless guys that are, you know, out there, you know. Uh, we're going to take a look at that, and then we're going to take out and take a look at, at the state of our, our society. Uh, we'll check that out. And then a few other things at the tail end of it. So let's get started. <clears throat> right here, um, I was going through some videos today, and I was just checking out a few things, and... It turns out that this guy right here wound up being like an amazing singer. Now, uh, this was out of uh, Korea's Got Talent. I'm sure a lot of you guys must have seen this at some point. Because this was quite a, quite a ways ago, a couple of years ago, I think. But I just happened to, happened to run into it, so I'm kind of late showing up to the game. <laughs> anyway, it uh, turns out that this guy had a really, really bad life pretty sad actually and then when they saw when they saw him you know the talent that he was given by God and that was the only thing that helped him you know pull him through everything ultimately worked out for this guy uh, I'm gonna leave a description of all these um, all these uh, steals that I have I, I don't want to play the videos cause just because of the copyright stuff and I don't want to inf infringe on anybody else's uh, video so I don't want you to you know active funny style with me but it turns out that this guy um he really wowed a lot of people you know and that just goes to show you the goodness of god you know uh how he um he gives us talents you know he gives us talents that many of us don't use you know it's a shame because of our circumstances and the stuff that we're put through because of whatever you know we don't have the proper you know parental figures you know mother and father and then they're abused when they were children and it just it's just a it just goes on and on and on so you should really check out this guy um he's, he's got an awesome talent and uh this story will definitely uh make you think twice about a few things also here, here's another cat that i found and uh this was uh there, this guy was auditioning for American Idol back when uh, J Lo was uh, on the board there, and um, he uh, he really wowed him too, you know. And it turns out that I think the reason why these dudes are so um, effective and and they and they move like the judges and and the people that are like supposedly in power, you know, whatever, is because these guys have nothing. You know, being homeless is not a fun thing. I've had I've had several bouts of being homeless. Let me tell you, it's not nice. So I am I am completely grateful for what I have, and that's why I'm able to say and, and talk the way I do, because I understand what it is to have and and to have not. I've been in both situations. Thank God I'm I'm in a decent situation now where I ain't got to worry so much. Um. But yeah, this guy also uh, was laying it down pretty good, and and made Jennifer Lopez. She kind of they kind of flipped out on him. This this is an also good video. Uh, all this stuff is coming from YouTube, as you can see. So just just kind of look up the the headings. That's why I left the headings in there in case the links are, are bad or I got, I got the wrong link or whatever. You can just look up the heading on YouTube. You'll find this guy. Here's another cat that was out there, you know, doing doing his street hustle. And he was singing, and the one guy took the the raw audio, <laughs> and then he added all the instruments in the background, and he made a full a full song out of it. And uh, this one cat guy right here, this homeless cat man, he was laying it down. You know, a lot of these people, man, they have extraordinary talent. It's just that society, uh, living conditions when they were children, you know, they may have been abused, they've been may have been neglected. Uh, maybe the fathers beat them, maybe the mothers beat them, they've been jailed, 
you know, a whole slew of things could have happened in these in these people's lives that led them to be homeless. Because I mean, no one just is born homeless. Well, you know, that's not true. Cause that has happened, but you know, it's just an epidemic that that we see more and more because of of the current state of the of the world. And it doesn't, you know, but still, people have talent. And this is one of the reasons why I'm trying to make these videos. Because, you know, it tells us in the Bible to love that neighbor as, my, as thyself. So this is me loving my neighbor as myself. You know, I'm trying to spread the word, you know, through this channel. And letting people know, like, like hey, you know, some of these people have talent. Because it's, it's not wrong to have music, to love art, to love dancing. To, to be a lawyer, you know, to to be an actor. I mean, God gives you those talents for a reason. It's just, what are you going to do with it? That's where that's where the, the rub is. You know, what are you going to use your talent for? This, this is a very good one, too. This guy can sing. <clears throat> There's another cat. He also has, you know, some skills. You know, and all these cats are... Now, I don't know. This was 2012 when I saw this video. So, it was about four years ago. So, he might have came up by then. So, he might not... This might not even be effective now. But still. Um, <laughs> these guys got talent, you know. And it's it's just a shame that that it, they go by unnoticed, you know. Because they didn't catch the right breaks. Because, you know, the system is... Um, the system is set up in a certain way to where it doesn't allow people breaks unless unless you know things or you know somebody or knowledge is power i'm going to tell you that right now knowledge is power this guy's very good as well and for our final one on um, the homeless uh guys with talent this dude is is, is a really good guitarist I and mean, he rips on this thing you know and he's over there you know he has like a little beatbox or something in the background, and he's, he's kind of ripping through there, and it's 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 pretty gnarly, man. I don't know the names of any of these guys, but like I say, these are are the actual headers. These are actual titles on YouTube. So if if some of the links that I give you down there don't work, just come and search it under under the name in in the in this pic here, and you can you can find it and check it out. You know, it's really something you guys should check out. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna look at Matthew fifteen, uh, Matthew twenty five and fourteen to thirty. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's kind of lengthy. I'll just summarize it for you, but you guys can read through it. Basically, it's a man going on a journey, and he has uh, three servants. He uh, and he gives them, you know, he entrusts some property to to the servants, and he gives one servant five talents. He gives the second servant two talents, and he gives the last servant one talent. The first two double the the money that he has left with them okay you know so he they double it the first guy comes back with five plus five so he says good you know faithful servant second comes back two and two good and faithful servant now we jump down here to um nasty 25 and 24 he also he also who had received the one talent came forward saying master I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gather, gathering where you, you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reaped, that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I, I scatter no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. So, <clears throat> okay, let me finish it off. So, take the talent from him and give it to the to whom, give it to who has the ten talents, which was the first guy. So, see, so the one talent that he did have, he took it away and gave it to the one with the ten talents. Okay, now let's modernize this. Because, you know, this is old, you know, this is Old Testament. It doesn't apply. Sure it does. Back in the day in Greek, uh, the talent was actual money. But what do we use 
to earn money in a modern day. Isn't it our talent? What do we call, if you're a musician, what do you call that? You call it a talent. If you're an artist, if you're a singer, a uh, piano player like myself, uh, if you're um, a lawyer, uh, a boxer, an actor, a draftsman, you know, making buildings or business guy, whatever, that's your talent, okay? Uh, so, he, he in here it says he's a slothful servant. Isn't that the same as saying a useless eater? Isn't that what the Illuminati calls most of us? We're, we're useless eaters. We're consumers. You're not doing anything but, but taking up space, consuming up the resources. That's how they see you. If you're not in business, you're, you're of no use. You know, you're, you're, you know, good. So they take away what you have and give it to the one that is of use, which is the business guy. Now, <clears throat> here's the problem. In order to be in business, we all know that business is just another word for stealing. Now, I don't know about you, but this has happened to me, but I don't know about you. But every time I interact with any type of business, I feel like, like they're robbing me blind. Prices are too high. Um, the service that they give is, is not adequate. I mean, I, I always feel like I'm being robbed. Just about in every business transaction out there. Now, I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. And the reason why uh, we're being robbed is because we don't know the law. You know, because they can, you know, they're, 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 they're doing things to us. And because you don't know how to stop them, they're getting away with it. Had you know, had you know this book and the law that, that accompanies this book called, called, you know, the, the constitution, because every state has its own constitution. Now we're going to get into that a little bit later in the video. So I'll get back to that. But according to this, the, these homeless guys are wasting their talents. Some are, are, are coming up, you know, because people see that they need help. So they, like the first guy, he came up. So did the second guy. So <clears throat> it's just, it's just because the people suffer for lack of knowledge because they refuse to, to, to learn. They refuse to, to obey God's commands, but let's continue. Okay. This is the state of the world that we're in. Now, these two battles right here are in Russia, I believe. And it's either going to be Russia or one of the one of the European countries, and they were going around saying, "Okay, well, we're the Vira brothers, and we're gonna we're gonna check the honesty of people." Homeless gets one thousand for his honesty wallet theft experiment. So they they went and did an experiment. Obviously, the wallet has no money in it. You know, it's empty. But they went walking around, you know, dropping it like on purpose and acting dumb, like they didn't know that they dropped it to find out what um people would do now i'm not going to tell you what they do i'd rather you just go check out the video and needless to say they found this one honest guy and it's pretty it's pretty gnarly so you should go check out this video that's number one here's the second one <laughs> now this, <laughs> now this one <laughs> excuse the language <laughs> Excuse the language, <laughs> this one is hilarious. <laughs> okay, there's this one guy in LA that that you know he's kind of he's kind of gutsy, he's ballsy, he's got some balls. I gotta give him that. So he's walking around and he says, "What if the homeless gave you money?" <laughs> <coughs> and obviously, it's an experiment. <coughs> so he was out there, you know, trying to run this experiment, <laughs> and and he had his sign. Saying that, you know, by giving, you know, I forget what the sign says. You can go watch the video. <laughs> but it's something to the effect that, that, you know, he's not asking for money. He's giving money. So several people walk by. <laughs> and this one guy, <laughs> he goes and offers his money to this guy. And this is the response he get, he got. <laughs> you know, he pretty much cussed him out because the guy was trying to do a good deed. And this is the, this is the response he got for doing a good deed. And what law is this guy breaking? This this dude in the in the thing he's breaking this law right here. It says it's number seven, but it's actually number number one. 
The seven deadly sins, also known as the capital vices or cardinal sins, is a grouping of class classification of vices, behaviors, or habits are classified under this category if they directly engender other immoralities. According to the standard list, they are <clears throat> hubristic, eh, hubristic, hubristic pride, greed, lust, malice, malicious envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth, which are also contrary to the seven virtues. Now, <laughs> he's he's right there cussing him out, so he has pride. He said he can buy him. So the guy sitting, you know, the guy that was acting like homeless, you know, he just got humiliated and he's trying to help. And instead of receiving the help, you know, because that's what our Heavenly Father says for us to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we're supposed to help each other. He got crapped on and then treated like garbage because the other dude was proud. Now, let's look at the third one, lust. Now, this is off topic, but I'm going to throw this in there just because I have them up. You see how it's lust, and that, that goes with the homosexuals. Greed is also involved here, too, because, you know, a lot of these people have cars and Mercedes and, and houses and this and that, so pride and greed are usually, you know, and wrath is another one. And notice how the seventh one is sloth, you know, people that don't do their due diligence and, and, and do what they're supposed to, you know, or at least try to keep their you know themselves together. So these are these are the seven deadly sins. These these um these exist, and we will be held accountable for these. And that means every man, woman, and child on the planet, and the demonic forces, Satan and his minions, as well. Okay, on this one, <clears throat> the homeless child experiment. So there was a little kid acting like he was homeless, and he was trying to get food for his sister, and nobody would pay attention. So they spent all day trying to trying to get somebody, you know, and then they ran into this guy, and then he winds up crying because, you know, something had happened to him. I'm not going to tell you what it was. That way you can go watch the video. Something happened to this guy, and uh, since this dude was, was filming like, like the documentary, this experiment, then he decided to run over there and actually assist the guy from the skateboard. So you should go, you know, maybe check that out. That's kind of, you know, it's kind of this is kind of nice too. And then the final one. Okay, now this is the one that I wanted to get at, okay? The bullying experiment. Now, we are often told that homosexuals are bullied. You know, oh, poor homosexual, poor me. I'm the victim. Okay, let me, let me correct you. You are not the victim. You need to stop lying and stop hating God and, and stop calling yourself a victim. You are not a victim. Those, the Bible is there for every man, woman, and child. And it clearly states in there that you should not be a homosexual. You are not to lie with a man, a man with another man, and a woman with another woman. And I don't care who gets mad at me for saying these. I don't. I don't care. You think you're going to hurt me? You're not going to hurt me. I could care less. I'm standing on God's word. I'm standing on 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 the word of Jesus Christ, who died for my sins, who is my savior, and that's what and that's that's all there is to it. Okay. So I need you guys need to stop acting like like. Ooh, we're the victim and you're not a victim. You are choosing to deliberately, you're breaking the law in order to enforce the law. Now you got laws on the legal books which, which are bogus. But how is that a good law when you're breaking God's law? You can't you can't break the law in order to enforce the law. What is that? that that's not effective. That's the same as the ticket. What if I don't sign? I'm going to take you to jail. He just made a threat. Now how is that ticket valid? He just made a threat that if you don't sign his little his little notice there, his little ticket when, when he's got you pulled over unlawfully for all kind of other reasons, and that's a separate video, and I'll, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and post that as well some down, sometime down the line, that that's invalid. He just threatened you and forcing you, coercing you into signing a ticket, which is not, it, it makes, it creates the whole thing invalid. But anyway, this experiment was, this dude set up the camera, him and him and the little dude were acting like, like, like you know, he was going to bully him and, and, you know, and they were doing it in front of people to see what people do. Now, however, this is a different experiment because now they're tackling law. Okay. And how many times has this happened? You see bad things happening, but you're afraid to help 
Because every time you seem to want to help, bad things happen to you. You get yourself entangled in, into stuff that ain't even your business. And most people are like, hey, man, that's not my business. Okay. And now everybody's afraid because of the legal aspects. Well, let me, I got something for you guys. If you knew the law, like I do, and like I'm learning every day, you won't be afraid of this situation. Because you're, you're going to be able to step in right here. The dude sitting on the bench has a right to, for a citizen's arrest on, the, on these two vatos right here. Actually, not the little kid because he's the one getting bullied. This dude. He, he, needs, he actually, you know, under the Constitution, you know, as the people, which I'll show you in a minute, has a right to, to stand up and, and put that put this one bottle under citizen arrest and detain him until, until the until the, the the authorities come. But see, if you don't know the, if you don't know that rule is in there, if you don't know that law exists, then and the funny thing is, is, they told us in the Andy Griffith, so citizens Reyes, citizens Reyes, go look at that episode where Gomer effectively applies a citizen arrest to Barney because he broke the law. It's in Gomer Pa. It's in uh, Andy Griffith show. I think it's somewhere around the, in, in the fourth season. Just look up Citizen's Arrest. Go more, Andy Griffith's Citizen's Arrest. You'll see it right there. See? They're telling you. The reason why the, the, these people didn't want to help, help, I didn't even watch the whole video because it, it got me onto a tangent. So I don't even know what happened in this video, but but this is what it, it brought me to. Okay, first off, let, let's, let's do some basics here. <clears throat> in Genesis 126, we see King James Bible. And God said... Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Boom. Right there. This is where God gave Adam dominion over the earth. You know what dominion is, right? That's your domain. That you control it. That you have, you can do whatever you want. Within reason. Obviously, God is not going to let you, you know, kill it off everything, you know. You got to, you know, you got lost. But, so this is where he gives Adam dominion over the earth. And ultimately Eve. However, later on down the line, Satan comes in. He slithers in and notice that he doesn't go to Adam. He goes to Eve. He slithers in and he tricks Eve into taking the bite of the apple of the of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And through Eve, he dominates Adam. Isn't that how the society is now? They're dominating us through the women. They're putting women above men, which you're not supposed to do because they're usurping the authority of the man. They're putting men in dresses. I mean, didn't you see my men in dresses video a couple of videos ago? See? All of that makes this Bible true. That's why I say it's true. Because it's real. I mean, we're telling you the truth to your face, but you just won't accept it. You know, you're in denial. But anyway, this is where we have dominion. And that means you, me, everybody. Everybody on the planet has dominion over, over this world because, because we're all descendants of Adam and Eve. That means Russian, Arabic, Muslim, non-Muslim, Gentile, Jewish, Polish, Mexican, Indian, whatever. Whatever race you are, whoever you are in the world, everybody are descendants of Adam and Eve. I don't care who you are at some point. However, when Satan tricked Eve, he stole our inheritance. He stole the dominion from us. That's why Satan is running the world. That's why he's he's in the position because he went and stole it from us. It doesn't belong to him. We right here we see that the dominion is ours, but he went and stole it because you know he wasn't paying attention. But God clearly told them, "Don't eat for you can eat from anything any other tree except for those two. And what do they do? As soon as he said that, they went and go eat from the tree. <laughs> okay, but he, anyway. We go back here into Genesis 126. We see we have dominion over the earth. So therefore, we're man. Let us make man. Okay. You're a man. If you claim woman, you're still man because woman comes from the rib of a man. So now you're a man or woman, respectively. Now, here in Exodus 18.21, it says, King 
King James Bible again. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. Okay. Now this right here is the beginning of the justice system. This is where the judges come from and the politicians. This is where they were getting their authority from Moses, which was a godly man. Now, God gave Moses the command. Moses gave it to, to the people. But they had to be, but watch what it says. They had to be able men, such as fear God, which they don't now. Because they're doing whatever they want because they tricked everybody. But that's a separate thing. But they... they so actually, actually, they do fear God, but they tricked everybody. Men of truth. Well, they're not of truth because they're, they're really deceptive because they're following Satan. Hating covetousness. No, they're coveting, uh, they're coveting from us all over the place. But it depends on how you look at it. So they, they are abiding by this law and they're not abiding by this law. It depends on your status, but that, oh, that's a separate thing. Now let's continue. Since I'm in the state, or actually, actually, since I am, uh, since I am part of the California state of 1849, this supposed code applies, but actually it applies to my servants, not to me. Okay, I'm gonna lower it down because it got kind of messed up. California government code section 100A: The sovereignty of the state resides in the people. Therefore, and all writs and processes shall shall issue in their name. Now this is referring to the people. See, now un under B because you know now they got they got you on a separate thing, but he, but here's the trick. California State Constitution of 1849 equals the people. Sovereign rights given by God. So that's what I showed you over there in Genesis 126. Okay? But they play word games. It's called legalese. They like to play these word games and switch words around and switch the definitions. So, oh, yeah, do you understand? And they're not, you think you understand, but you, you don't. Because they went and switched all, all the definitions. You got to be careful. State of California equals U.S. citizen, slave. And you don't have any rights, only privileges de determined by them. And that's, and that's reflecting State of California Constitution of 1879. Because they went and re and redid the Constitution thirty years later. They went and amended it and did, did all kind of stuff, and then they re, re, remade it to get the U.S. U.S. citizen slave in there. Actually, the U.S. citizen slave didn't, didn't show up till thirty three, but they already had this Constitution in place because they already had plans of what they were up to. They already had plans. You know, they're not stupid, but they knew it was going to take time because this was back in the day where everybody had a gun. And if you disrespected the other guy, he called you out and whoever, whoever didn't die in, in the, in the, in the duel out there and the showdown would walk away. The other dude was dead. Much rarer was making money hand over fist, I guess. So <clears throat> this right here is the people, which is you. Me, everybody on the planet, we're the people. But if you don't call yourself the people, and you're, and you're running around calling yourself a U.S. citizen, and having a number attached to, to you being a U.S. citizen, which is a whole separate thing, I'll get into that later on a separate video, I'll break all that down too. But here you are, the people, so you have to claim that you're the people. Okay. Now, <clears throat> under 28 U.S.C. 3002-15A, it states that the United States means a federal corporation. There you go. It's a company. You see? So basically, when you're under the state of California, which is a, is a subsidiary of the federal corporation, you're now considered a federal employee. And what's your and what's your number? The social security number, that's what the number is. The license number, the social security number, the passport number, 
Well, the passport's a little bit different, but that but they got it in there too. The passport, the license, the address at the house. And they don't even call it a house. They call it a residence. It's not a home. It's a residence. If you look up uh, the definition, for, I have to look this up because I, I can't. I didn't confirm it, but from what I hear, when they use it as a residence, that's where um, a government official lives. See, they got, they got you as a government official, but they're not paying you nothing. They're withholding everything. They're coveting everything from you because they're stealing everything from you. That's a separate thing. I'll get into that later. 28 U.S.C. 3215A. United States means a federal corporation. There you go. It's a passport. That's why it's important for you to ditch those ID, all those, the, all those IDs, and you know all the, the, the IDs and stuff like the state IDs and stuff and, and get your, get you this passport and try to get it without the social security number. And there's a way to do that. But like I say, separate video clearly states on here in big ass letters, excuse my language, big giant letters. We, the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of Liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. So in order, in order, in order for this constitution, in order for the constitution for the United States of America to apply to you, you have to be the people. In order to be the people, you have to be a man. You can't be an obligor, uh, uh, a defendant, a uh, driver, uh, an <laughs> Uh, a custodial parent, all these other words, individual, taxpayer, you assist, that doesn't count. And they're pulling the wool on, uh, over your eyes because you, you, you don't want to be a man. Because that, that's who you are. You can hear you can hear me through this video. You, you can clearly hear that I'm a man. When I hear a female, I can clearly hear that she's a female, a woman. Because there's only like four entities on the earth. I've never seen a U.S. citizen. I don't know what the hell a U.S. citizen looks like. I don't know what an individual looks like. I don't know what a taxpayer looks like. I've never seen one of those. I've seen a man, a woman, and, and a, a, a son or a daughter. That's all I've seen. Think, man. <clears throat> the ones that are doing it correctly are the Amish. Even though they get laughed at and treated like garbage. And they get treated badly and this, that, and the other. Okay, it says down here, the Amish are subject to sales sales and property taxes. As they seldom own motor vehicles, they rarely have occasions to pay motor vehicle registration fees or spend money in purchase of fuel for, for uh, vehicles. They did not, okay, see, on the basis, the United States Internal Revenue Survey agreed in 1961 that did, they did not ha need to pay Social Security related taxes. See, they don't believe in Social Security, the Amish. I mean, they still pay taxes and all that, but they don't believe in Social Security. Why? Because Social Security makes everybody lazy. They're transferring wealth from, from, the, from the young people to the old people. It's not an insurance program. And it make and, and it and it breeds covetousness, is what it is. It, it's a it's a mean it's a covet means is what it is. Uh, Kennedy said it in that one statement when he was talking about the Illuminati. You know, they, they, they act by covet means. That's what he's talking about. Okay? So, they don't believe in Social Security. As long as they're self-employed. See, when you're self-employed, okay, so self-employed individuals in certain sects do not pay into nor receive benefits from the United States Social Security system. This exempts Exemption applies to religious groups, and then they have, you know, their way to, that they kind of, they kind of like cornered you, because the United States ain't trying to give away free money since they've been robbing us the whole time, you know. But anyway, but the Amish are doing it right. Why? Because there's the Amish doctor, the Amish shoe guy, there's the Amish builders, there's the Amish school one, there's the Amish dentist, there's everything within their own community and each one of them loves their neighbor as their self and they're helping each other out to build their community 
yeah, they, they're riding around in, in horse and buggies because they don't believe in electricity and other things. You know, do you need to get this this hardcore? I don't know. That's that's something that you have to decide for yourself. And I'm gonna. This is the last one here. This is the last slide because this thing's getting long. Well, this is two more. My people, Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy god i will also forget thy children so therefore that's why we see all the homeless that's why we see all the talents wasted because i mean those guys obviously are seen and have talent but it's wasted on the street because they're homeless because god has forgotten them and he hasn't forgotten them because he chooses to they choose to to not not listen to what he's saying through this book because it's easier for them to be slothful instead of being um, diligent you see see how it's working social security idolatry and slavery okay i'm not going to read this whole thing i'm just going to read a couple of things social security is a violation of the first commandment god says in exodus chapter 20 verse 2 i am the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage Okay, so it clearly states that we're having uh, Social Security as an idol. It's over God. You're not supposed to have any. Th he then says in verse 3, you shall have no other gods before me. So Social Security is a god before them because it's you're, you're going to the government to for your needs. You're not going to God for your needs. You're going to the government for your needs. Down here on number 2, it says Social Security is a violation of the 10th commandment. God says in Exodus chapter 20, verse, verse 17, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You're, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is your neighbor's. In this commandment, God forbids every sinful desire to get our neighbor's possession openly or by trickery. Isn't that what they're doing with the Social Security program? They're tricking us and this and that, and they're not... They're not telling us what it really is, and they're deceitful in their ways. Uh, Dorcas Hardy, who was the commissioner of Social Security from 1986 to 89, in her book, Social Insecurity, makes it clear that Social Security is not insurance, nor is it a pension. She states that Social Security is a transfer of wealth from young to old. Social Security is the state taking money from one group of people and giving it to another group of people. It's the old people coveting young people's money. You see? That's not covet. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description so you can read this whole thing. It's quite interesting. You know, you don't have to read it if you don't want, but I'm telling you guys, you need to start studying the law because the law is directly based on the Bible. Now, believe it or not, they're not breaking the law. We are breaking the law because we don't know what we're supposed to know. And if you watch um, The Devil's Advocate, in the one scene where the mom is telling Kevin, you know, that Milton is the father, oh, he just knew the Bible, every word of it, by heart. See, she makes that statement in there that the devil knew the Bible, every word of it, by heart. You see? And this is how he's tripping us up, because he knows the Bible, what God has said, because that God is his father. Throughout the whole thing, he keeps whining and crying out, well, you know, I, I've had my losses, I've lost, and you know, see? He's crying and whining that Jesus went and knocked him out. But he's determined to take as many of us with him to go get burnt up. Well, <clears throat> in conclusion... I just touch the tip of the iceberg here. Now I was I was refraining from doing any type of these videos because I want to see what's going to happen. I've been making these like like fluffy, puffy, frivolous videos, you know, just because eh, I had some extra time. You know, it didn't really cost that much work. It was just me talking on the thing. But now I'm I'm start you know digging into some real stuff. I got some heavyweight stuff coming up, and I can actually tell you. How to get rid of your social security, to be in honor with God, how to function 
in society without making God mad or the government mad. I can also tell you how to how to command your your, your public servants to do as you say because you are the government under the Tenth Amendment uh, of of your state constitution. Well, it's the federal constitution, but your state has a constitution, and that's the one you go by the state one, not the federal. Believe it or not, I can also tell you how you know I'm in the process of setting up the trust funds. You know, getting getting all all your 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 things in order. You know how to do that. I can tell you also that traffic tickets are fake. Tickets in general are fake. They're all a bunch of bull. They're just robbing you and you're agreeing to it. There's, there's a real easy way to get rid of all that junk. You know, but 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 the, the reason why I don't get to the money and all that stuff because the core of everything for it to work, the main, main thing you have to do is you have to be in good with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you take shortcuts and you don't and you want to skip God, that's it's not going to work, and, and you'll get beat down and probably possibly hurt. And that's not why, why I'm making this video. I don't want anybody to get hurt. You know, I want you to to connect with Jesus, give your life over to God, and start start taking taking the Bible serious. You know, that's God's command on our life, and take that serious. You know, and then and then let the Holy Spirit guide you. In the meantime, you know. I'm going to be putting out videos, so if you guys are still interested, you know, keep hit, hitting up my channel. You know, I'm going, to, I'm going to put in some interesting stuff. I got a lot of stuff planned. Like, but like I say, I'm just taking it easy. I mean, I'm just checking to see what the YouTube police, because they love to police, you know, our stuff. We all know that YouTube is owned by Illuminati. Okay? This is let's just cut through the chase. Illuminati owns YouTube, because they own everything, pretty much. <clears throat> anyway... But then God owns Illuminati. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> anyway, look. <clears throat> if you're in tune with our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and our Father in God, uh, our Father God in heaven that created everything, then then you're going to do just fine. You have nothing to worry about. You don't have to, you know, prep or nothing. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm going to do my best to be making these videos and give you guys some quality information that won't get you hurt. I don't want you guys, you know, getting hurt over the info. You know, but it's just, you know, and this is just my dis disclaimer. Everything that you're hearing in this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not responsible for anybody doing. Well, I didn't really give you much in this video, honestly. I only give you a couple things so it won't get anybody hurt. It's just information. You know, I guess that disclaimer is, is good for the next one. But anyway, uh, look, <clears throat> this is real talk. I got some serious plans coming up for, for some better stuff, but I'd have to get all my ducks in a row. But this is just tip, tip of the iceberg, and we're going to get into some real lawful stuff that can actually help you guys save some cash. You know, but like I say, you're, the first order of business is getting in tune with God himself. You know, giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's our only way. He's our only hope. You know, I love you guys, man, even though it sounds kind of funny style because I don't even know anybody. But hey, this is me loving my neighbor as myself, as commanded in the Bible. And, you know, hopefully my information is helping some of you guys out there. In the meantime, uh, this is Real Talk. I'm going to go ahead and hop off this thing. And I'm going to catch up with you guys next time.